to be honest, <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this one, guys. Uh, it was just kind of an interesting uh, dog shit day in America, man. Uh, I'm just going to kind of like run down everything, though. Uh, I kind of woke up and, um, you know, there were a whole bunch of rumors floating around about Jeffree Star and uh, Kanye West. You know, like... That's a, that's a gay sex. A lot of this uh, speculation comes from both of the, both parties being in Wyoming currently, and uh, so that's kind of a thing. You know, it has been reported that Kanye is spending um, a lot of time at his ranch out there uh, while this uh, private divorce between him and Kim is underway. That's that's a thing. Uh, really though, there's really nothing to read into that one. Uh, that was kind of just like a footnote at the end of the day. I thought it was going to be like a much bigger deal. I almost made a video of that one impulsively until like, I believe like one or two o'clock rolled around and then, uh, there was a march on Capitol Hill. Um, so Proud Boys, uh, the far right, uh, pro-Trump group not the hashtag proud boys with the uh, rainbow emoji on instagram that is a different proud boys those proud boys are uh proud gay people uh posting pictures with their uh boyfriends and whatnot which is uh i mean essentially the same thing actually but uh yeah no uh proud boys peaceful protests on uh, capitol hill National Guard armed to the teeth looking like juggernauts from like MW3 and shit. Uh, rubber bullets, tear gas. Um, never mind. Uh, those were the Black Lives Matter protests back when uh, BLM peacefully tried to pro uh, march on Capitol Hill and couldn't even get to the doorstep or, you know, different. Proud Boys instead actually got inside. They actually stormed. The, they actually stormed the Capitol building. Gosh, how the fuck does that happen? Man, they had fucking Paul Blart Mall Cop out there, man. Fucking armed guarding it. Gosh. Yeah, so it's just a little like, it's not even ironic. It's just fucking sad that like for the Black Lives Matter protest, uh, which. I mean, were a protest, not a riot, was not violent. Uh, I don't think anyone was actually armed with a gun. I don't think that there was any harm that was going to be done. Um, they, they couldn't even get to the doorstep, you know, like National Guard were fucking everywhere. Like, I, 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 if, if, I have, if I remember, I'll like post a picture of like what like the front of Capitol Hill looked like uh, with the BLM protests. And they were just fucking ready to kill some black people, dude they were ready to incite violence on those POC. They were ready to let them know that America does not stand for equality. Man, these fucking little white Trumpers roll around with their big old ARs and shit and their Blue Lives Matter flag and their fucking Confederate flags standing on Nancy Pelosi's desk and shit. God, they just got right in. My God, man, it's just fucking weird, like... One black police officer was supposed to hold back these hundreds, thousands maybe, of just proud boys, man. It's just fucking weird. Like, it's just fucking sad. These people have been saying all this time that, like, they're going to do some shit. <laughs> that they're going to riot. They're going to they're, they're, they're gonna demand justice. God, man, they just got right fucking in, man. I just don't get it. Also, like, there is a lot of irony in this, though. It's more than just sad. Like, like there is a lot of irony. You know, they're, they're, like, parading these Blue Lives Matter flags while fighting with police. It doesn't make sense. Are you with the police? Are you against the police? Are, what do you want? Gosh. Meanwhile, fearless leader Donald J. Trump, Donald Justice Trump, is whipping his big dick trying to get into Scotland because he's okay with immigrating into a foreign country as long as foreigners aren't immigrating into the United States. Even though that there's still a huge COVID outbreak in the United States right now and foreign countries would be right not to want you know our fearless leader in their country. And he didn't get in. Basically, he's just trying to like evade like 
any repercussions he's going to get following the election because you know there are a couple like lawsuits and like whatever out against him because he's kind of a, a, a bad person why am i to say that i might get demonetized for that guys <sighs> it's just kind of stupid though you know whole proud boy shit and whatnot like i don't know i saw on a on Twitter, you know, that th they were like, 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 like after that one girl died or whatever, you know, the woman who, it's exciting, I got a phone call in the middle of like my little rant right there, I kind of forgot where I was going. Uh, anyway, uh, that one woman, I don't even remember her name, uh, I'm not going to say her name, I'm not going to give her that justification, uh, knowingly and willingly put herself in harm's way was knowingly not in the right was knowingly in the wrong stormed capitol hill stormed the building got inside and then got murdered i, I does it even count as murder she got killed um because of course she did like i don't know so like all, all like the little trumpers or whatever were on twitter like remember her name say her name um and it was just like something out of Fight Club. Like you remember when uh, Meatloaf's character in Fight Club or Fight Club died because like he was shot and killed after like robbing a bank or like whatever. And then they were like, his name is fucking. I don't his name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. Basically, they were just like you know trying to do a memorial for him and whatnot, and just like remember him, say his name, say it, say it. It's just fucking. It's 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 just. It's not that. It, it's it's not. I don't know. You guys broke into his build. You guys broke into the Capitol building. What did you expect to happen? I don't understand. You guys are fucking terrorists. You're extremists. You took this to the extreme, and what happened? An extreme result. Four people fucking died. Four lives that did not have to die. This is not the same as like George Floyd, which. You know, you want to cite, oh, well, he has a criminal history. Who fucking cares? His, his, his little, like, his little windpipe was fucking crushed under the weight of that officer. This isn't the same as Ahmaud Arbery, who did nothing wrong, but was still shot and killed because maybe people are racist. This isn't Breonna Taylor, who was shot and killed in her own home after a police raid, which didn't even need to happen, happened happened at the wrong place and she was murdered <laughs> this is not the same as that but like you guys understand that right I, i'm not speaking you know just generally i'm speaking like directly to like the pro-trump audience here you guys understand how this is different right you guys understand how this is wrong right do they do they it's fucking sad God, man. Uh, next, I think I'm going to talk about like the 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 Tommy Lauren tweet that didn't age well. The one where she was like, "If Trump loses, and his supporters are just going to go to work next day, they're not going to riot or whatever." That aged really fucking poorly, by the way. And like, I know that like everyone's been like quote tweeting it and retweeting it and whatnot now, and being like, "Oh, how do you feel about this? How do you feel like about this? You real hush mouth now." It really fucking aged badly, though. Also, something that aged badly was, like, uh, the Trump tweet. The, the Trump tweet in the midst of Trump America, where Trump was talking about, like, the BLM protests and whatnot, and he was, like, pointing at it, and he's like, that's Joe Biden's America right there. That's what's going to happen in Joe Biden's America. We're not even in Joe Biden's America yet. And this is how, you know, the Trumpies are, like, acting towards this, man? I don't even know. I, I don't even know if I should keep that in. I, I, I really wasn't going anywhere with that. Uh, something that just kind of bothered me from this whole thing, too, uh, was the fact that, like, these people were detained. They weren't put in handcuffs. I have seen no reports of anybody being arrested yet. They were just detained. They were told to, like, lay on the floor with, like, their hands like this. What the fuck, dude? Where is the equality at? Where is the equality at? I'm not saying that like our prisons aren't already like 
overpopulated and whatnot. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, these people actually did bad. They did bad. Just fucking give me justice, dude. God, man, like, shit. Police officers have 24 hours to respond to this or else I'm going to go into the street and get some justice myself. I'm going to go around and fucking like corn dog people. Just fucking bah, get them real good with the knee, you know? The knee and the butthole. That's what corn dogging is. Also uh, has other uh, terms such as uh, elephant hump. Yeah. yeah I'm going to go around uh, elephant humping uh, little Trumpies to get back at them for storming on Capitol Hill. It's fucking stupid, man. It's fucking stupid. I guess that's kind of it. Um, I don't really have, like, I didn't really have anything really planned. I didn't really have that many talking points. I think I hit everything. I'm not really sure. I won't really know until I edit this. Um, but, yeah, I guess just a, a recap. Uh, uh, Kanye West and Jeffree Star... Once again, that's, uh, that, that's, that's gay sex. Um, Proud Boys stormed Capitol Hill, got inside the building, broke windows, fucking incited a shitload of violence. Not a whole lot happened. Four people died. Hate to say it, it should have been more. More people should have been arrested. More justice should have been done. There should have been more, you know, ways to counteract this. Um, it's just fucking stupid that, that, that all of that is just really stupid. Uh, did Trump ever like officially like denounce them? Did he like ever like? say that these are bad people who did a bad thing? No? That's cool. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the name's Poopy. Thanks for watching Poop Eaters and uh, Eat Shit. Hey, uh, Mr. Fix It and Post here. Uh, I, I do want to just address a couple of things as like the outro and whatnot. Um, I do understand that events like this do set a precedent both ways, and they set a very dangerous slippery slope both ways. Um, not only does like an event like this of uh, Proud Boys storming the Capitol building not only set a precedent that this is what they can do and this is what they can get away with, I also understand that if more uh, violence was incited, if um, police officers, SWAT team, National Guard, whomever, would have done more damage, that there is a chance that it would have started a civil war of sorts. Um, I'm not stupid to that, but I do wish that more justice was done. Maybe not murdering uh, more Proud Boys, maybe not whatever, but I do think that there were things that could have been done that were used against uh, the peaceful BLM protesters that was not used against Proud Boys, and I just think that that was a problem. I do not want my words to be twisted in thinking that I'm uh, pro-murder, pro-violence, anti-whatever. I'm just more so upset about the lack of accountability for what just went down in uh, a country that many of us live in, you know. Uh, we live in a society, and uh, I'll just leave.